Hey everyone, this is your Sally Coach, and this is going to be part 2 of our Ricardian Sequence video. And in this video, we're going to be doing a practice problem to walk through a Ricardian Sequence cipher. This one just says that it's going to be a Ricardian Sequence. We don't even know the author, so we just need to work through and figure out what the pattern is and figure out what the quote says. So let's get started. So we can see already that we have a capitalization right here. We have symbols. We also have lowercase, and we also have no symbols. So that can be some of the ways that we can figure out a pattern. So we can first start with capitalization, and with capitalization, we see that these two letters at the start are both capitalized, and these two letters at the start are also both lowercase, and we know that nothing can ever start with B and B, so that's just going to be wrong, right? So we know that this just cannot work because both of them just don't go with that rule. So then we would have to go with the symbols, which we have the symbol right here, no symbol right there. So we're going to try figuring out which one is A and which one is B. Using that, we go to our next rule and figuring out where the letter A stands. So that means which one has no symbol at all or which one has all symbols. So when we go to down the line and we see right here that this all has symbols, so that means that we know that this one is A. Now I've memorized the alphabet, so I'm just going to go through it and start solving the cipher. So you can pause right here if you want to do it by yourself and figure out what the cipher is comes out to. So starting to solve it, we have T, U, R, N, Y, O, U, R, F, A, C, E, T, O, T, H, E, S, U, N A N D T H E and then this one's gonna be S H A D O W S F A L L D E H I slash J N oh, this is going to be U slash D D Y O U slash V which one are also I slash J, and that's going to be it. So after solving that, we can see um, our like words start forming. We have turn right here. So this is going to be U, not V. Turn your face to the sun and the shadows fall behind you. So that's how we're going to solve the Conian sequence. And you can see that since I've memorized the alphabet, it's very easy to pick up on those patterns once you've practiced a lot. So please, please, please try memorizing the alphabet as it's going to save you a bunch of time. If you ever like are in a car ride, maybe you're just having um, some work to do, you can do it on the side or just keep it in your head as you're doing something else. And it's pretty easy to memorize within a week or so. So that's how you solve a Baconian sequence, and we will be doing another practice problem soon. Alright, so this is going to be our second practice problem, and this will also be our last practice problem, going over different symbols and different types of patterns you may see on your test. So let's get started. This one says, the following symbols encode the phase by Ivan Fernandez using a Baconian alphabet. What does it say? Now, first, you would split it into groups of five. So we would have the five, five 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 and it's just paint over and over again right now in our last practice problem we saw that it was already split like this now in previous tests in previous years you wouldn't see a split um just like this this is a test from previous years it's going to be more compact just like this so you're going to have to split it up yourself or just use your head and see that this is five letters paint by itself but in the practice problem that we did first, those are part of the newer tests, newer 
test packets that we use and that contains more spread out letters. So I'm just going to get to here and we'll start looking and we see that we have a few different ways, a few different signs of text. Now over here we have a lowercase p, we have an a that has a symbol on top of it, also capitalized, and we, we have a capitalized p over here. I'm going to look and see if we have any letters that do have a, um, a symbol except it's not capitalized. So far we only see these capitalized letters with a symbol or not. So, so far we symbol, 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 and we don't see anything that doesn't have a symbol that's also lowercase. I mean, it does have a symbol and it's lowercase. So we have a lowercase, so I'm just gonna put that as A. Actually, no, I'll put it as like X. So we have X, oh, sorry, I'm just trying to find a good letter to work. So we have a lowercase Y, we have like a, random letter that has a symbol on top of it so we have like a symbol right a symbol and uppercase letter then we also have another just um plain one which is going back to our lowercase we have another just lowercase and then we also have this a capitalized letter so going off of that we can try seeing what can be A, what can be B, and we know that the first two letters both can equal to B. So right here, we have two capitalized letters, and let's say we first want to look at capitalization. Maybe capitals are A or B, and lowercase is A or B, and this goes in with capitals. So these two, since there's more of them, this is going to be A. Let's say that's how we're trying to solve this out right now. So we would have two capitalized right here, so that's going to be A, 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 and then this is going to be B, A. So, so far we see that it does pass the rule, so we could start solving it like that, you know? We would ha have B, oh, this would be uh, B, A, um, B, A, B, this is going to be X. And then let's say for the next one, this is going to be A, A, B, A, B. This one is going to be F. Now that, we can already see, does not make sense. So instead of going off of capitalization, we would have to go off of something else. Alright, I'm going to erase all of that. And we see that right here, we have PA. So instead of using capitalization, we could probably do something with the symbols, saying that a symbol is equal to A, and then this is equal to B. Same with the lowercase. So symbols are A, these are B. Now, this could be interchanged, like let's say, since there are less symbols, we would say that this one could be B, and these could be A, and the capital Y could be A, And now we do see in some places how this could work. Like we have this entire thing right here, which would be A. And we would also have this right here. The whole thing could be A and so on and so forth, right? So we could go with this as a possibility and we could start filling it out. This one would be A, B, A, B, A. Now this one's gonna be L. This one's going to be A, B, A, B, A, L. Now this doesn't make sense, but we can keep on going just in case. This is going to be um, A, B, A, A, A. This would be I slash J. Now again, this does not work, so we would have to look for another pattern. So we would keep going and try looking for another pattern. And we could probably tell that we see a lot of these symbols right here. We see a lot of A's with that symbol and a lot of N's with that symbol. And not only that, we see a good a group of these, like A-I-N, A-I-N right here. They're all the same, A-I-N. So we could use that and say that this is all A. So we have, um, um, yeah, so now we have A, 
like this. We have I, and we also have N equaling to A. So at the moment, this is going to be our A's. So as I was saying that there may be some extras like these we have as A, or maybe you could have a few capital letters, we don't know about that yet. And as I was also saying before, we have these really frequent groups, A-I-N, A-I-N, so these probably will be B, I mean A, sorry about that. And going on to that, we also see that there also is a T at the end of this, so we could probably add in that lowercase T in our group of A's. So we would also have T, and then we would lastly have either capital P or lowercase p. If we look at where the lowercase p's are, we can see that there are much more of them. Their frequency is much higher than the capital p's, as we only see them maybe once over here, maybe once over here another time. We can see just a few of them, really. So we can say that the lowercase p is also going to be part of it. And this is all going to be equal to A. Now, continuing on, we would have all this to A, and the rest is going to be equal to B. And if we look at the rest, it just seems like there are going to be capital letters. We have a capital P, these capital A-I-N, and we have the capital P. So that group of paint, A-I-N-T, is all going to be equal to B. So this one, we're going to start solving out the cipher and see what happens. We have this as going to be A, 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 B, A, 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 R, B, A, A, D, A, T. So it's starting to come together. Now, after doing this, I'm just going to start going through the cipher and spelling out all the letters and filling out the entire table. So next letter is going to be C and back to A. N H E L T U S R E C L A I N A S E N S E O F W O N D E R I N O U I think this is just a normal A R L I B E S Now there's a few letters here such as like U I those letters remember those are U slash V and then I slash J but I can see from the other letters that it just doesn't make sense so I don't put those there. Whenever you see a U and an I Remember, that's going to be U slash V or I slash J. So this quote from the end says, um, Art can help us uh, reclaim a sense of wonder in our life. So to get these points after finding out this quote, you can't just leave it like here like this. You'd have to type it out or write it out wherever they want you to. They may say at the start of the test, like you can keep it like this or you can put it to the side. But if you keep it in this format on most tests, such as regional estates, many invitationals, they're all going to say that you should put it to the side and not keep it like this. Or else you're not going to get any points. Now, another thing about this is that please memorize the alphabet. Because as you can see, I was flying right through it. I didn't have to go back. Like, let's say I saw this, right? I could instantly tell that this could be L with the two patterns I see, the two capitals in the middle. So please go back and try memorizing the alphabet so that you don't need to go back and forth with the reference tree. 
lastly, I just want to say thank you for listening to the entire video and watching this far. And please watch the rest of the videos that I post. It's going to be on Baconian word for word, Baconian letter for letter, and much more. Probably practice problems, guides, anything you like, please put it down in the comments and I'll make a video about it sooner or later. So thank you for listening and have a great day.